Look how close they are, guys. Look at that. Holy. My goodness. The fighter jets are out today, but the loads are not. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm looking all morning and can't find anything. So I really don't want a deadhead, but we have to wait till a little bit later. So maybe we'll go grab lunch and wait to see if we're getting a load. And I'm kind of coordinating with the other guy to get another look at the other trailer, but it's all the way uh, closer to my house, but far from here. So <laughs> let's uh, see what we can get. Type the address into the little map up here and we are nine miles away. Had to wait till almost one o'clock guys. And the load that was up for $800 yesterday, going to Tampa, they, I bid 13, they came back at um, 900 and then went to a thousand, sat there all day. And then they bumped it up to 1100 without telling anybody. So, okay. So I bid 1350. Then they came back at 12. And then um, I said 13. And they said, accept. I said, perfect. Okay. We got car coming up behind us. We got it, though. And we're going to kind of creep around the massive amount of traffic over here <laughs> and go this way. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, guys. There's one right over here. They have a reverse happy hour. $4. And you get like a big old thing of a. Uh, like fresh guacamole like uh, I love avocados so big old chunks of avocado I was like sure so I had that last night had a little uh, salad for dinner and we're on the way so we're out of Savannah we're going to Tampa 1300 I'll take that and then it's, it's Wednesday so really didn't want to go home mess up come back Thursday so we'll try to do this come back up here it delivers early in the morning too which is awesome and then see if we can get something else um, come back out I don't know if they're, I don't know what it is, but it seems like there's a hotel right down here and there are a bunch of Spanish speaking people that keep walking back and forth, only speaking Spanish. I don't, I'm not saying they don't speak English. Maybe they just prefer speaking Spanish, but um, they're walking to Walmart back with groceries and stuff. Um, a lot of younger aged guys, a couple of women here and there. So I just don't know what, what that, if that's part of the, um, open border policy we have going on or what, but it's, I've never seen that before at the times I've been in this area and there's a lot more homeless people here too. So I don't know what's going on, but, uh, it's never been like that. There's like, there's a place called the Crest right here, Capitol Crest. It's real nice, but there's a hotel back there and they're all walking to that back. So I don't know, I don't know what that is, but I'm grateful to get a load, I'm grateful and blessed. Go to a single lane right here, switch gears. And, uh, it's right off the water, right down from where you have nice Ben Valentine's. So pretty cool. Never been here before. It looks tight. So let's go uh, check what it is. So it kind of sneaks us around all that traffic. We end up over here, which is Jimmy Deloche, Deloche Parkway, which is exit 109, I think. Lots of trucks to my left. <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, warehouses right over behind us and in front of us everywhere. So. Okay, six miles away, let's go. I really didn't want to go that had any further up to take something somewhere else. There was one going to Charlotte that I, uh, even though I broke around, but I didn't see that it doesn't deliver till 10.30 tomorrow night. I was like, whoa, that was a straight through maybe, but no. Uh, I think I picked up that building right there to the left, actually. One of these buildings I picked up before. All right, let's go see the, uh, the river. I think we might have an accident right oh yeah the hood's up in the air There's another car in the, in the median there it's got one of the old school tow trucks with a little uh hoist off the back the 1980s or 70s there you go jump right in front of me come on people oh yeah merging peas and peas that looks like everyone's okay there's no ambulance on scene or maybe they already left but i don't know what they hit something my goodness this truck right here he's perfectly fine in the front so i don't know where the other car's at oh it's a container truck down there dang it but he looks just fine back in his truck not that car don't hit trucks all right back over that's 95 right down there there's more people all trying to get on the highway oh that should be cleared up by the time we come back through here but that's the route we're going to take <laughs> all these guys right here on the left that are waiting to get on the highway 
many trucks on this road. Got some gas lines down there. I don't know what that is. Water, I don't think it's water treatment because there's no big things of that that spins around. All right, we have two miles. We'll take a left. But the river's kind of straight ahead of us where all the ports, all the ships come in. The guy's burning some fuel or something out of his sky. I don't know. Maybe it's oil because you see white smoke, it's usually cooling or water. And the green smoke or blue smoke's like oil burning. Black smoke is over fueling. Too much fuel in there. What he's got. Uh, looks like he's got some oil because it's a little bit bluish. I don't know. Old International. There you go. She's screaming. That's the easy road. Take us out to the river. I've never really come this way all the way down here. That's Amazon right there to the right. Amazon. And what's that over there? That is Crossgate Logistics. Okay. They're building something else on the left. couple of cranes right there from like the inland port uh, when they stack them and move them on trucks but a lot of cranes to our left for the boats uh, but I do not see any boats but they're probably just lower than what I can see look at all those chassis guys to the right those are all empty container trailers wow that doesn't say what the freight industry is like I don't know what does those are not brand new those are just used stacked on top of each other man oh man okay here's our left coming up here Even like the port, there's no trucks in line to get in to go grab a container or nothing. I don't know, but it's a Wednesday at 12:30, uh, but still, or one o'clock almost. I don't know. I can't really believe in five years I've never taken this road right here. We got all the cranes to our left, a couple to our right. I've never seen this. How I've always been further down, like Savannah, we're out there in the warehouses. There's some rail right there, taking containers out. Lots of containers actually on rail. And then look at that, guys. There is crane heaven out there. A bunch of them to our left over here. And a bunch, that's, that's quite the shot right there. I didn't realize how massive this uh, operation was. All you guys that run the ports out of Savannah, my goodness. Now, are those stacked on boats that are straight ahead, or are they, that looks like it might be boats. I don't know. We're taking a right right here. They're on. So that's Twit Car, guys. You ever heard of that? Um, it's a, like a hazmat clearance kind of thing, like fingerprint. Just double check who you are. But those guys are all going in there to get either drop those containers off and switch for new ones or something. You guys, let me know. But you have to have a Twit Car to run that port, or you can get escorted in. But it's just not. It's not that bad a process as people say. But I've never done it. I'm not interested in running containers. But uh, that's what a twit card is, T-W-I-C. Wow, that's quite the... Still stop moving, guys. I thought there was nothing moving. Then it was just that other crane, the inland port. But man, over here, there are a lot of containers out there. Okay. Over this bridge. And we're going to GAF, GAF. So it says right there, GAF materials. So that's where we're going. Lots of traffic through here. I think I've been to this area. I just never came in that way where you went right by the ports. Look at all the trucks. They didn't make this two lanes. <laughs> Double lanes. Way down here on the right is where we're going. But like I said, it looks like tight quarters. We shall see. Man, there's a lot of trucks. Is lunchtime or just the way it is, guys, all the time? I'm not 100% sure I've been down this road. I used to pick up sugar somewhere around here. It was a road like this, but I don't think it was this one. All right, Container Central. We're just grateful to get a load. I didn't think, I didn't, yesterday they were, uh, CH Robinson was about to give me one to go to Tampa also, but just for a thousand. I said I was trying to get 1200, and then they just pushed it to today. Um, that one's still up there, it's like 840 right now, but this one was like 800. Then with the 900,000, like I said, 1,200 there's Fuji. Let's see, a little bit further. Uh, not for sure, 
sure if this is where the sugar was, though. There's cranes right there. It smells like, uh, I want to say like flour, cooking flour, but it has a weird after smell. I don't know what that is. I wonder there's people like practicing work, yard jockey work right there or something between cones. <laughs> yard jockey school. Okay, getting close. Gold bond, building materials, okay. Man, we were going right to the river. The water's like right there. Gaff, all trucks must weigh before entering. Okay. We saw that then, so we're getting on the scale then. And it's nice to see another guy with a drive, man, because it is container central, so I'm just <laughs> making sure I'm in the right spot. Man, has a heavy smell, like water processing. It's not at gas or oil. Ah, it's like a, yeah, maybe water processing. I don't know. I don't see any intercom to talk on, so. Do we just sit up here till they give us a light somewhere? Or do we walk up from here? I don't know. But I'm gonna go check it out. My tandems for my trailer are on. Pop the brakes. Go talk to some people. Driver's Lounge. That's a huge fire. Yeah, but it looks like there's a lot of it. <laughs> I was like, there's no clouds in the sky. <laughs> but what is that? Man, that's crazy. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess if he's going to the same place, I could kind of follow him. Yeah, yeah. okay, so I'm gonna need you to, I told him to spin it around. Yep. Yeah. And back in. Back in. Okay, down right here on the right. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be tight, yeah. getting in there. Should so I wait for him maybe? Yeah, yeah, wait till he. Wait, I mean, wait till he's in and then kind yeah. of stay out there waiting. Yeah. Uh, I'll walk, if you don't mind, I'll walk down and look at it, see what I got. Okay, you got a vest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go get it on before I walk down there. Okay. But yeah, yeah so. Yeah, just pull it on down. Where he's going. Uh huh. I'm gonna be next to him. It doesn't matter what door number. Don't just matter. okay. Just get in one. one is Whatever one's easiest. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. And then take that to the shipping office. Okay. You know where it's going. Okay. Ahead. Thank you, babe. All right. I love it when the guys are nice. Super nice guy. So where are you going? A lot of you guys coming in here. He's like, you're gonna tarp him. Like I gotta drive. He's like, you you're good then. <laughs> but you do have to turn around, like he did. And then you, this cloud, guys. Like, we're gonna see what's going on with the news. But there's something burning big time over here. I don't know what it is. You can kind of see it coming this way. I don't know. Getting pushed out towards the water, but man. The guy right there just got out of his truck. He's like, uh, I was talking to him like, hey, are you going in here? He's like, no, I'm going to go pick up a trailer and drop a trailer. I said, okay. He's like, it's real tight in there. And he's like, he comes here a lot. I'm like, all right, let's see. The flatbed guy's here and you can tell everybody's hit these poles. So if he gets into the one that's closest to this side, I'm not gonna be able to get in here until, unless he pulls out that trailer. <laughs> oh man. We'll see. Well, it's tight. And he is going for the closest one, so I'm gonna have to wait. Cause there's no way I'm gonna clear his nose if he can barely clear the fence, you know? So, no worries, we still got a load. Got to all the time in the world gotta be there till 4 to 6 a.m. which I am grateful for. Do you think you're gonna pull this one? Or you don't know? Okay, but cool, thanks man. If he does pull this one, that'd be awesome. I mean, there's no way I'm making it to seven <laughs> with those poles right there, but I'm not making it in to uh, eight either because he's right there. If he would've went over to eight, I would've had room. But. No worries. Um, and then I guess they put these things in front of your truck when you're getting loaded so you do not leave. Yeah, he's kind of there, so we'll wait for somebody to move, make it easy. All kinds of stuff. I guess they must manufacture it here. The, the materials come off the ports, I guess. That's awesome, he just dropped that one. And he said, hey, which one do you want out? That will make it easier. I said, that first one, man, if you get that one out. I'm good. I'll be able to use all that real estate and get it in there. 
cool. Let's go. Good thing I'm paying attention because he wants me to back in there, but they just closed the gates. <laughs> so, unless you want me to take the gate off, we got to open those back up. Okay, he finally opened the cliffs and that guy pulled that trail around and then he backed up, so I have room. It's awesome. Uh, that flatbed right there, Western Express, he pulled in there like all the way up and he's like, hey, where do I go? And I'm like, well, you got to get on the scale first, buddy. <laughs> he's like, so where do I go? I'm like, you got to back up and get on the scale. Once that blue truck pulls off, he's getting his paperwork and he's still sitting there. So I don't know what he's doing. But hey, we're going to try and not hit anything. He's telling the Werner driver right now what he's going to do. He's probably picking up the same stuff I am. So I have that gold bull though as a reference point. But you guys all know how the W9 turns. Oh, yeah. Start getting my trailer over now. I've cleared the other Western Express uh, flatbed. But this is going to be uh, Austin Powers for sure. There we go. That was actually easier than the pallet place, guys, because I had that whole other uh, door next to me. So now I just gotta creep it over. I have like a foot and a half of room right next to the guy next to me to get this thing where the ramp needs to be. <laughs> so, heck yeah. Good old W9. You learn your truck over time, I guess. Let's jump out here and see if it's going to be to their liking. Look how close they are, guys. Look at that. Oh, wee. My goodness. I could get a little straighter, so I'm going to do that, but that would probably work. They'll be able to get it in there, but whew, that's close. My goodness. My balance beam days. Hey! <laughs> All right. No, but I Okay, so let's see. One, two, seven, forty, one, forty. And your trailer is five, three, one, four, four, six. Yes, ma'am. I'm the last one down. Are you at the dock? Yeah. All right, good deal. Five, three, one. Four, A little hard to get in there, but we got I it. Know it's fine. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. Um. Okay. They will be out there to load you. Okay. Um. Seems like when they start, they put something in front of your truck. They will. Okay. The table. Okay. So just make sure your truck is off when they do that. Okay. When they're done, they'll move that table, and then you can come see me and we'll have your. Cool. Thank All you. Right. Bye. I'm gonna have to start speaking Spanish, I think. I speak a little, poquito, también. But uh, yeah, it seems like a lot more Spanish uh, speaking around here than um, I'm used to. I, I was used to it a lot in Southern California. Half the kids in my school were, were uh, from Mexico. But uh, out here, it's a little different. That's the fourth one. They are doing some vertical climbing out here. Woo. I think we got another one taken off. I don't know. Shooting straight up in the sky. Oh, goodness. Okay, he's out of here. I don't know if he's going to clear the hood. Hopefully he does. We will, uh, might have to wiggle back and forth a couple times to get the trailer over. So it does not hit the hood. I think he might make it like that. But yeah, he, uh, he had to keep. Make it. I don't think so. He's <laughs> a forklift guy, so I don't think he's gonna make it. All right, we're getting. Uh... Hey, I ain't done yet. Okay. I need two pounds. I'm just getting my air in there. I gotta go to the office. Please don't hit my truck. You got it. There you go. Only a bad man. <laughs> he's a bad man. <laughs> I was hoping he would have gone over further, but whatever, we got it. Yeah, I got uh, doing it before. <laughs> so I see what he was doing. That's why he said I got two more. He just moved the table for him so he could clear. That was awesome. That was nice of him. Appreciate it, man. All right. So he said two more. I'm going to let it air up. One more thing I noticed, and one thing about these new trailers I'm looking at to buy, when you release your brakes, 
um, these newer trailers have these little like um, stands that come up on the back of the trailer. Let me know if you know what those are called. They like support the whole weight of the trailer instead of it smashing on the bags or smashing on the frame. They clamp, they go and they clamp up and it holds the frame from moving. Let me know what those are, but these newer, these older trailers don't have that. Like that one down there, he doesn't have them. Way down there on the axle. You'll see the newer trailers have them. Let me know if you know what those are, guys. Oh, yeah, I hate it this year. What? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and we, we won a trip, but it wasn't Greenville. They all talk about helping people, but they don't put the money back to the school or the kids or the, everybody that needs it. Like They, they just go buy bigger mansions. Yeah, they go exactly. buy a bigger boat and bigger house. Obama got my five houses. <laughs>
pretty cool drone shots. Um, I didn't realize how much stuff right here. I thought it wasn't that busy because Charleston is, I don't know, you guys let me know, is Charleston as big as, big as Savannah? Because that seems pretty big. So pretty cool to see those shots and just that way past the, whatever they were pulling off that tanker with that long skinny building. I don't think it was oil, it was like some kind of cement or some kind of powder maybe. I think the oil's coming off right here where that last shot we went to. Anyways, um, we're just past that bridge. That's the hotel we stayed at for Valentine's. So pretty cool to see it in action and be loaded down here. And really cool talking with a forklift guy who's just talking about like life and how everything's going. And um, he actually came to Greenville. So it's pretty cool. Nice talking with him, man. Let's get our paperwork. Yeah, make the roof in here. They just kind of ship it out and get it off the boats. Yeah. The make here? Yeah, that's fine. But it's pretty stuff. Yeah. You never know. It's like, <laughs> it's either shipping it in and just moving it around or they making it. <laughs> And then right next to you guys, all the oil, right? Oil, oil's coming in. All kinds of fluids. Because you can see that they're pumping it off yeah. on the boats. Oh, chem chemicals and oil, huh? Yeah. And then way down there's like a cement thing, that big skinny building. Yeah. I don't know what that is. What kinds of stuff? You just kind of wonder, how does the world work? <laughs> cool, got our paperwork, got a way on the way out. And, um, yeah, they make it right here. And she, that's not oil. She said that's like, that's some kinds of acid and stuff, all kinds of different chemicals. So, not oil, <laughs> but all kinds of different stuff. Cool. Let's go uh, fire up, pull out, and close our doors, get away. This building right to our right has a distinct smell. Like a, uh, I don't know, like kind of paint thinner, but not so, so harsh, I guess. So. A paint product or something. Um, a lot less busy now. Doing some dredging right there. Yeah, that's Fuji. I don't know what that is. Distinct smell to it though, for sure. Um, man, not so many trucks. This road was packed last time. We're good. That's the entrance right there to the ports. Cool. It's cool to see that from above. Now I know a little bit more what the Savannah landscape looks like for the ports. All right. Let's get out of here and get back to 95. Get through um, traffic before it starts hitting. It's about three o'clock now. Two hour load. Off to our right. We will see you later, ports. Woo. Ah, it's a cranes out there. And I think those ones we were closest to, those are maybe the newer ones. They look taller than the other ones, so they can hold the super ships. I guess they're coming in. I don't know. But man, what the industry out here! And then those are ships right there. They are stacked high. I imagine they're taking off and putting on. I uh, guess. I don't know. Cool, cool. Cool to see it all happening. We're cruising pretty good. Uh, T's and P's, guys. Looks like we have a turned over car. And there's like water down there. A little marsh. My goodness. T's and P's. Dropping gear. Man. What happened there? Poor lady. Stuff for the uh, specialized, but I've heard it pays pretty good. That's a nice peak. 
pretty color too. Okay, back on 95. Let's see if that uh, truck washes. It's probably still full as heck, but we'll see. sleeper on that allied truck up there too. Sun's in our face, you probably can't see that. Let's clean the windshield, check on everything, and keep rolling. Went to this QT that I've never gone to before. If you don't know what these are guys, they're infrared thermometers. 103, let's see what the other side is. Yeah, my drive axle is more than my dang. There's a pose right on. I was trying to see my, my air pressure on my front drives was a little bit low. This one's closed, so even though I pulled up, no one's around. But uh, I was like, man, this thing ain't working very good. I come back here and it was, it was turned off. <laughs> oh yeah. So check your air. I was like, man, this thing ain't working very good. And it was turned off. Maybe from last night. Who knows? we we got over here. Got 100 on that side. 98, man, these things are staying cool. 98, okay. We'll check the drives on that side and refresh and keep going. Oh yeah, huge wait again for the uh, truck wash. So we'll have to come through in the middle of the night or early morning, something like that when the sun's not gleaming on the truck because that just makes it dry quicker and leave water spots. So I don't want that. Okay, let's get into Florida, get down to Tampa, 4 a.m. unload and did want to miss the traffic in Jacksonville, so exit 14. If you know, you know. My goodness, guys. That was the first time I've gotten the chicken. A little messy because you got pulled off the bone, but ooh, seasoned right and yummy, yummy. So got some rice and beans and, and proteins in me. I am good to go. A beautiful sunset coming again. Uh, we're just above the state line of Florida. We're going to cruise over the 301, shoot down to Tampa, and where we're delivering is kind of right off the water, right off 75. So, um, shouldn't bad, be bad at all, but it was packed in here a little second ago. I had to park, I pulled over and moved over from the last fuel island and parked right there because it's, it's, uh, it's busy here. So, everyone's already parked for the night, but ooh, it's a 14. W9 in front of us just turned around. Now let's get going towards that sunset. Grateful to get a load. Uh, we're just praying for the country. I don't know what's going on with everything in the world, but just pray that everyone can prosper and have a good life. It's cool looking headlights on that Peter right there, that red one, or maroon one. All right, let's follow the leader on the identical truck to mine. Get the 86 inch sleeper also. And fuel's 369 now, so just coming down a little bit. The truck smart price should be down also. I didn't check it, but because we fueled up yesterday. There shouldn't be that that uh 
to be even less than that, so we're probably getting about 350 a gallon, 340. All right, enough yabbering. There's a tire in the water down there. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get back on 95. Welcome to Florida. What a beautiful sunset, guys. Back at it. Ah, get some good work in this week. Get the agricultural, get to the palm trees, get down to Tampa. Gorgeous, God's grace. On second thought, no agricultural, it is flashing. Okay, this saves us a little bit of time. Get the way station next. Bypassed on the way station, got like four Walmart trucks over there just hanging out together. Someone's talking to the DOT officer in the SUV back there by that first Walmart truck. These guys are blocking the scale with their cars. Yeah, we got bypassed. Okay. A big old generator. I've been thinking about getting a diesel generator for my lake property. Just in case, like a doomsday prepper kind of thing. Buy a nice, I don't know, $5,000 generator, put it out there. You'll have an abundance of water supply, I guess, as long as they don't drain the lake too much. Then get a, whoops, find again. There you go. But yeah, I'm thinking about that. Jumping on that 295 westbound to connect down to the 10. Uh, going over towards, uh, all the way over to Arizona. The crazy thing about the I-10 is I used to, I've been to the very end of it in Santa Monica, California, and I've been to the very end of it in Jacksonville, Florida. And I think I've probably been across it almost all the way. I haven't taken it like through Tallahassee and all that. I've gone across it, but not all the way over. But anyways, I used to live in Arizona for 18 years. Right off I-10, <laughs> just, just above it. So I've rode that road plenty of times going back to California to visit my parents or friends or go to San Diego or go to uh, LA. I didn't really like LA. I like San Diego a lot more. It was more of a beach vibe. LA is just too many people, too Russell Bustle. Uh, there's a weird vibe to it. Uh, beaches are more industrial, like Long Beach and stuff like the ports we were just at. But uh, San Diego, no ports. Uh, maybe a small one to in the bay, but uh, the beach just has that really cool beach vibe. So, really pretty cool to be on that one side of I-10 and, and the other side of I-10. That's where I grew up. But this is home now. I love it out here in the, in the east. It's just that it's an easier way of living and more wholesome. Like I feel like I feel like there's more of a presence of God out here, the goodness out here. But I loved. I think there's good people out in the, in the west too. Don't get me wrong, but I just I feel a weirdness out there sometimes. And, and um, I guess God kind of. Got me in the right direction, put me in T-Dub's arms, and here we are. Anyways, enough rambling about all that crazy stuff. Let's get down to that I-10. We're going to take the 301 down through Stark and shoot on over to Ocala. Ocala, and uh, go down to Tampa. And it's such a beautiful sunset. Thanks for riding along with me today. And that was a heck of a tight spot with those trailers. But we got it done. On that beautiful I-10 now, chasing the sunset. Well, we chase that sun down to the 301. But on that note, God bless you guys. I'll see you on the next one.